How about some easy back to school dinner ideas? Roni Proter, your website is called Dinner Reinvented. I was just mm -hmm. checking, you got some great recipes oh, on there. Thank you. Very simple. For simple minded Thanks. people like, I don't know, me. <laughs> uh, both of us. <laughs> well, you know, being a parent, you know that you need to get dinner on the table quickly. And I think, especially this time of year, we can barely get our kids out of the house and right. with a packed lunch. And then we're like, now what? What are we going to do for dinner? So I really like the idea of preparing simple idea dinners. And a lot of these items are things that you already have in your pantry or your freezer. If you're smart and you keep your freezer packed, you can really make dinner any night okay. of the week. What do you got? Okay, so here is a shrimp pasta with peas. And I know that you're a fan of peas. I love <laughs> my peas. I'm the only one in the house, though. And frozen peas are a great way to um, prepare and save the nutrients in a pea. So here's what I do. I take some shells. Mm -hmm. I put them in boiling water, right? So here's our boiling water. I pour them in. I cook it for like seven minutes, mm -hmm. right? We want al dente pasta. Seven minutes. Then I add frozen shrimp and peas directly to the water. Oh, really? Right? Before you've drained it. Yes, exactly. So now it's poaching really nicely. It's cooking. Whoa, sorry, that's okay. the water <laughs> popping that. And then, sorry about that, Lauren. No, Woo! Okay, I so like then. That idea, so you can just stick it in there. That's right. And then I strain it and I put it right here. Okay, so, so you strain all of it then. I strain then the whole great. thing, I put it in, I add a little splash of cream. You can also add um, a garlic clove if you have one. Mm -hmm. And then some Parmesan, I see you going in with there. Oh yeah, oh, baby. Yeah. I also keep vermouth always on hand, which is really nice really? because it adds a little bit, it, it keeps in your pantry all year long instead right. of white yeah. wine, which will go bad. So okay. that adds a nice little oh, flavor if you idea. want it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what okay. else do you have? You got a few things. Yes, okay, now here is my favorite, my favorite family dinner right now. It is a Tex-Mex version of a chicken parmesan. Oh, it looks great. All right, so instead, here's what I do. I take some Chex, and you want to use corn so that it has that nice kind of crunchy corn yeah. consistency. I pound it out. I take my chicken breast. Mm -hmm. I put it in the egg mixture. Mm -hmm. Then I put it in the Chex mix, and I pan fry it. Okay, so oh. I, you just want to pan fry it for a couple of minutes, maybe. Okay. And here is the trick to making dinner cook even quicker. If you slice your chicken breast lengthwise in half, right. okay, it's thinner, it cooks quicker. It cooks quicker. Right? right? So you Makes coat sense. it really nicely, you pop it in the pan. And I like this because that's one less thing that's messy. Yes, yeah, so you can just throw that back right. away, which is always nice. Uh -huh. and, and then, then for how long? I just fry it for a couple of minutes on either side, and then I take it out and I top it with salsa. Now, here's the reason that Mrs. Renfro's mild salsa works really well. Uh -huh. It's got a lot of flavor, but it's really mild in heat. Okay. So then that way your kids, their well, taste buds don't burn. Right, you okay. put it there, top it with the salsa, put a little cheese, pop it in the broiler, and dinner is done. How long in the broiler? I put it for, I don't know, like five minutes. Just watch it, because the broiler They're gets really hot. The top of it all. Uh -huh. And then nice. I like it with a little black bean and corn over here with mm -hmm. some avocado. You get nice green veggies. You Top it with some scallions. Yum, yum, yum. You can find these recipes in a link to Dinner Reinvented <laughs> on our website, myfoxtfw.com. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you guys. It. Happy we, cooking. We got some music.